It's okay to feel vulnerable. It's not a shameful thing to feel pain and hurt, and your worries are very much valid. We are humans, and as such, we are prone to go through these times and experience these feelings. So there's no need to push them down like they do not exist. No need to act up and pretend, especially before God. He knows all things. He can see right through your heart. He knows just how you feel. The thoughts that run through your mind, your worries and fears. He sees you while you shed those silent tears in your closet. He's not oblivious to your pain, your worries, and your situation. So why would you want to even hide from him? Why should you pretend to the one who knows you intimately, even more than you know yourself? God sees your broken heart, and he wants to mend it. He wants to bring healing to your soul and rest to your spirit. He wants to give you a new lease of life and ease your burdens. He has been calling from time immemorial and is still making the same call today. He says, Come unto me all who are weary and heavy laden, and you shall find rest to your soul. If you are really in need of help and want a solution to that problem, just call on God and you will see Him work out things for your success and happiness. Take your problem to the one who can solve it. There is nothing to be ashamed of before your father, nothing to fear. Just come as you are and he will remold your life, reshaping you to fit his plans and purpose for you. Do not go acting like you can handle your problems when you go before God. That is equivalent to pride. Even when you think you have things under control, there might be some lapses, some parts that you overlooked. But the truth is, most times, we do not even have things in check. There's usually one thing or the other bothering us. Might be financial issues, health problems, crisis in the family, or maybe our relationships. Things are bound to come up that will make us worried. The solution is not to smile as though nothing is happening and everything is going well. That's what many people do today. As much as you do not want to publicize your challenges, you should know that God is not one of those people you should try to hide from. Here are some reasons why you need to open up to God and stop pretending. You can trust Him. One of the major reasons people cannot come out to others about what they are going through is because they fear being judged. They don't want to be seen as weak or suffering or poor. Moreover, they do not want to have their problems publicized for everyone to know. But you should realize that those people we are talking about here are humans and are prone to error. They have their weaknesses and can hardly be trusted. But with God, you have nothing to lose or fear. Whatever you tell Him is safe with Him. He is the one person you can trust, even if the rest of the world turns against you. You can call on Him in times of trouble. He is ever-present and ever-ready to hear you. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 says, You should trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Stop overthinking that matter. It has been said that sharing your problems is the first step you can take towards solving those problems. And who else should you share those problems if not God whom you can trust? He cares. The Bible says that we should cast our cares upon Jesus because He cares for us. You have to begin to see God as your Father and approach him that way. He feels your pains, he knows your heart, he sees your worries, and he longs to take them all away and bring a smile to your face. You do not need to carry that problem all by yourself. You do not need to let the challenges that you face weigh you down. Having someone who cares for you and your every need should motivate you to open up to him. There is no problem that God does not understand. Do not hide from Him. 
because you think he does not care or he will not understand your challenges. Some people tell themselves that there is no way God can relate with what they are going through on earth. After all, he is God and he lives in heaven. Yet, the scripture tells us that we do not have a high priest who is not touched with the feelings of our infirmities. That is to tell us that God knows your every problem. He understands what you are going through. He has been rejected, been mocked, accused wrongly, and faced challenges that are peculiar to mankind. He not only understands, but He cares about you. Draw near to Him. Open up your heart, cast your worries and cares before Him, and let Him wrap His loving arms around you and soothe your fears. He has the answer to your problems. When you are sick and you go before a doctor, do you start jumping and act as though you are fine? Of course not. You tell the doctor exactly the way you feel so he could diagnose the problem and treat that ailment. The same is applicable to God. When you go acting like all is fine, it means you do not want a solution to that problem and you will find yourself stuck with that problem. God is capable of bringing healing and deliverance to your soul. He can take away those things that are bothering just at a command. He can change your situations faster than you can follow. He can decide not to tell anyone else about that situation. But when you come to God, there should be no coding or no covering up. Remember that He can see you as you are already, so it makes no sense trying to hide from Him. So when you come before God, let Him see where you are hurting so He can heal you. Show Him your concerns and let Him handle it. Paul tells us that we are nothing to think anything of ourselves, but our sufficiency is of God. You cannot handle that situation on your own. Otherwise, you will not be worried about it in the first place. God has the answers to the problems that are in your heart. Just open up to Him. He has asked you to come. Now there is this question that if God knows what is going on in our heart and lives and He truly cares, then He should prefer the solution without us asking. However, this is not the case. Both the heavens and earth are guided by principles. As much as God wants to help you, He needs you to call Him into that situation. He will not just jump in without your consent. That is why the Bible is full of verses where He tells you to come unto Him. He says that you should ask, and it will be given unto you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. So have no fear or shame whatsoever. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 says, You should come boldly before the throne of mercy and find grace to help in times of need. In your time of need, you need to come to God, tell Him your problems, and let Him help you. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 equally says that you should not be anxious about anything, but present everything in prayer before God along with thanksgiving. With God, you have no worries and fears. You can open up your heart to Him, Tell Him your problems and worries, and let Him take control. Do not pretend as though all is well when it is not. Talk to God in the secret place.